motherfucking deal, YouTube. This your boy Dante Sports Talk live stream. I'm here to start up a debate. Uh, I'm gonna start doing these debate videos uh, daily. Uh, let me know which uh, debate I want me to see. Y'all want to see in the comment section. Let me know with whatever gets the most uh, comments. Then that's the debate I'm gonna do. But we're gonna start this video off with uh, you know a debate between people that already know this debate. This uh, debate is it's close, but it's not really close. It's close, but it's a close debate. But like I say. To me, it's just my opinion. Uh, we're going to do Michael Jordan versus the Le LeBron James. Um, Michael Jordan, in his career, is the greatest player of all time. Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time. And like I say, if y'all want to see more of these debates, uh, you know, uh, hit me up in the comment section. Y'all let me know which debate y'all want to see next. Um, so we're going to, right now, we on, um, we on Michael Jordan versus LeBron James. Not gonna do any shout outs. I'm just gonna get right into the video. Uh, Hall of Famer Michael uh, Jeffrey Jordan. Michael Jeffrey Jordan is um, a Hall of Famer, 14 time All Star, 10 time scoring champion, 3 time Steals champion, um, 6 time NBA champion. Hold on. 6 and 0 in the NBA Finals. 11 all-time all NBA, 9 uh, all-defensive player of the years, all-defensive player, uh, 1994, 1984-85 uh, rookie of the year, 3-time uh, MVP, um, 1997, uh, uh, I mean, 1987 and 88 uh, defensive player of the year, 6-time NBA champion, you know he's 6-0, 5 MVPs, uh, 1980, uh, 1984 and 85 rookie of the year, Michael Jordan was 6-6, uh, 195 pounds. Michael Jordan career stats is uh 100 is uh 10 1072 games. Uh, 30 points, six uh rebounds, five assists, 49 percent from uh the field, 32 percent from the three point line, 83 percent from three, 83 percent from the free throw line. Uh, Michael Jordan. Uh, I'm gonna put put LeBron James stats on. Uh, Michael Jordan, 1984 85, averaged 28 points per game. He's the rookie of the year. Did 20, um, 80, uh, 1985 86, 22 points per game. It's, he had a broken foot that year. 37 points per game, 37.1 points per game. Uh, uh, 86, 86, and 87, 35 points per game. Um, 89, uh, 30, 89, 89, 35 points per game. 1990, 33 points per game. 1991, um, 33 points per game. Uh, 30, um, 1992, that's, uh, when they went back to back, they went back to back, back to back, back to back in 1990, in 1990, and 90, uh, all the way to 93. Uh, 1992, uh, 30 points per game. 1993, 32 points per game. He was, uh, he retired in 1994. That's when the Rockets won the two championships. 1994 and 95. Uh, 95, he came back. It was a little rusty, he averaged 26.9 points per game. 96, he averaged um, 30 points per game. 97, 90, 97, 29, 98, 20, uh, 28. Um, 98, 98, 97, 98, and 99. He averaged, he, uh, they won uh, three championships back to back. 2000, 2001, he averaged 22 points per game. 2003, he averaged 20 points per game. Uh, Michael Jordan was physically strong. Michael Jordan, to me, uh, like I said, I know championships doesn't combine, come, doesn't combine uh, with, uh, the better player, but to me, I think Michael Jordan was is, was the better player than LeBron James just because Michael Jordan was physically strong. He played in a way tougher era, uh, like I say, where it was really no no uh, touch fouls at all. You had to earn it. You was getting your ass knocked on the floor. LeBron James, Jordan. Join a top five superstar. Two of the top five superstars in the NBA at their positions. Michael Jordan did have Scottie Pippen. Now let's get that play. Get that right. In a bunch of role players. Steve Kerr, yes. Did he hit the uh, shot to win Michael Jordan that game one? Yes, he did. But what Michael Jordan did the game six? Michael Jordan closed the deal. Michael Jordan played against Seattle. Beat Gary Payton them. Michael Jordan played against Carl Malone them twice. Beat them. But Carmel, Utah should even should he won a see won the finals. Michael Jordan beat Patrick Ewing them. Stop them. Michael Jordan beat Charles Barkley. Kim Olajuwon would have been on that list if Michael Jordan didn't retire, to be honest with you. Michael Kim Olajuwon will be, um, will be on that list. 
Michael Jordan beat Sean Kemp. Michael Jordan competed with Reggie Miller and stopping the Pacers each and every year for making the finals. LeBron James not taking away his greatness. 15-time All-Star. Um, 20, uh, 20, 20, 27, 2008 scoring champion. Um, three-time NBA champion. Six all-defensive uh, teams. Uh, rookie of the year, we already know. Three-time MVP, three-time finals MVP. Four-time MVP in the rookie of the year. Um, career stats for LeBron James. 27 points per game. Uh, seven uh, rebounds, seven assists, um, fifty percent from three, fifty percent from uh the field, uh, fifty, um, thirty four percent from three. He shot a little better than Michael Jordan. Uh, seventy three percent from the free throw line. LeBron James lost nine, now six NBA Finals. Two, the Cleveland Cavaliers. I don't blame the, the uh one against San Antonio. I don't blame that against LeBron James. As clearly he didn't have no help. Uh, like I say, he spent most of the years not having no help in Cleveland. But like I say, he had to join Dwayne Wade. Um, and Dwayne Wade had to tell LeBron to take us down. And Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh had to sacrifice knowing LeBron James was the better player. But like I say, he had to join two of the five, top five superstars in the NBA. And then he had to go back to a young Kyrie Irving and uh, Kevin Love, uh, you know, to, um, to win. But Kyrie Irving, credit was taken most away because of LeBron James. Kyrie Irving hit the biggest shot on the biggest stage, but LeBron James did make the block, but Kyrie Irving didn't close the deal. But like I say, Michael Jordan closed the deal in everything. Every deal, everything was up to Steve Kerr uh, in the John Paxson shot. He closed the deal. He closed the deal. Like I said, Michael Jordan was physically strong. Uh, the guy competed with the, with the great in the greatest era, basically, of all time, where, where you had to earn everything when you was going in the paint, and you would just get clothesline. In this era, Due to um, LeBron James competing in the East all his years, and the Eastern Conference is weak as fuck. Um, he got exposed this year, I thought, in the Western Conference. I thought he got exposed. Uh, LeBron James, the East was weak. LeBron James was allowed to take a rest. LeBron James complained consistently. Michael Jordan never complained. Michael Jordan just went out there and played the game of basketball the right way. He had Scottie Pippen. Pippen needed Jordan. Jordan needed Pippen. That's all. But Pippen, let's get it straight, was the vice president of Michael Jordan. If you couldn't, if you wasn't tough, you couldn't play on Michael Jordan's team. Have y'all heard of that story when Michael Jordan punched Steve Kerr in his eye? If you wasn't tough, Michael Jordan would just rip in the guys. Period. And guys would cry. And guys would, guys would straight up cry. If you was not tough, you couldn't play on Michael Jordan's team. You could not do that. You could not play if you were not tough. So, like I say, LeBron James, the all-time leading scorer, yes, he is. But to me, I'm going to get a, a debate to uh, none other than Michael Jeffrey Jordan over LeBron James. It's not about a whole lot. But like I say, I clearly think uh, Michael Jordan was the better player. Like I say, 6-0 in the NBA Finals. He never lost. No game never went to Game 7. LeBron James is great all around, but like I say, LeBron James is 6'8", 250 pounds. In a game of one-on-one, -on -one, I think uh, Michael Jordan will be able to uh, edge out LeBron James. I don't think by much. I, I do think uh, Michael Jordan will be able to edge out LeBron James. But like I say, uh, Michael Jordan, his last seven years, it took Michael Jordan seven years to win, uh, to go to the NBA Finals. You know why? He had to play against Larry Bird. He had to play against uh, the Detroit Pistons. Isaiah Thomas them. Isaiah Thomas them. He played against tough teams. Michael Jordan played against nobody but tough teams. And that's just like in an era in boxing. When uh, Muhammad Ali had to go against George Foreman and um, Joe Frazier, those were tough guys. Michael Jordan went against the best era in the NBA. Michael Jordan, get, think about all the greatest that Michael Jordan stopped from winning the championship. Let's go to Patrick Ewing. Let's go to uh, Penny Hardaway. Let's go to... Um, let's go... To uh, John Starks. Let's go to Sean Kemp. Let's go to Gary Payton before. Let's go to Carl Malone. Let's go to John Stockton. Let's go down. Let's go to Larry Johnson. Let's go to Alonzo Mourning. Let's go out loud. It would have been Kim Olajuwon. Let's go down. Let's go to Clyde Dressler before he went to Houston. Let's go down. He competed with Larry Bird. Dropped 60 points on him in his first playoff game. LeBron James is great. He's a great player. He's going to be one of the top five best players of all time. But like I say, 
LeBron James, Michael Jordan, to me, is the greatest of all time, and he is the GOAT. And I will have him over LeBron James. Like I said, LeBron James is a great player. Uh, like I say, he's similar to uh, he, he's not similar to Michael Jordan, but to me, Michael Jordan played in the toughest era of all time. In this era, you get touch fouls, you get at the free throw line easier. Michael Jordan will average fucking sixty points in this era because of the, the way the how soft this league is. Back in that era, that league wasn't even soft. But I believe LeBron James can play in that era, though. I believe he can do it. I believe LeBron James can play in that era. I believe he could play in that era. But he would be more wildly and complain. LeBron, Michael Jordan was going to the bucket every night and getting knocked up out of the air by Bill Lambeer. Even Dennis Rodman, before Dennis Rodman became against the Chicago, came at the Chicago Bulls. Dennis Rodman was a rebounding rim protector. He was not a superstar, all-star in the league. He was an all-star, but he, that, that doesn't mean he was a superstar. Pippen was the closest star to Michael Jordan. Pippen is one of the top pop small forwards of all time, a lockdown defender. Michael Jordan was that too. He was that too. You can put Michael Jordan on the best player too. You can put him on the best player too. But like I say, uh, that's the end of the debate, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. Let me guys know in the comments which you guys, who y'all guys think are the better is the better player. And uh, like I say, I got Michael Jordan, and most people will say uh, Michael Jordan as well. And LeBron James, not taking away from his greatness, but I think Michael Jordan' uh, career was more better, more exciting. Uh, like I say, he went three three peated twice. It's hard to do that. Yes, it's hard to go to the NBA Finals uh, eight times in a row, but you did have a weak conference. He, did, my, LeBron James, did go to the. There was in a weak Eastern Conference. He was down. Michael Jordan, uh, all around the NBA was strong all around when Michael Jordan played. It was no gimmies. It was no gimmies. It was no. It was no already debate. It was no debate to see who gonna make the finals in the Eastern Conference. You knew LeBron James was making it to the finals. You knew when LeBron went to the Heat, they were going to the finals. You knew when LeBron went to Cleveland, they were going to the finals. The only losses I don't give LeBron James, I don't, I don't give LeBron James is the first, the first year he went to the finals with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love got hurt. He deserved a pass on that. He deserved a pass on that San Antonio year when he first made it to the NBA Finals. He deserve he deserve a, a pass, but I believe Greg Popovich put a better game plan. But the other finals, he don't deserve a pass. He don't deserve a pass on those other finals. So hey, like I say, Michael Jordan closed the deal. He made the last shot over Byron Russell crossover, which is, I think it really was a push off at, at that. But he got the job done. But well, comment, like, and subscribe down in the comment section what you guys thought on this video. And uh, y'all, y'all guys, don't forget to like up the video and let me know what debate y'all want to see next, man. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'm gonna do these debate debates daily. Thank you, guys. I am out. Peace.